Hej och välkommen! My name is Karin Olofsdotter and I'm the Swedish ambassador to the United States. Thank you so much for joining this event. Today we are releasing the booklet Sweden creates jobs in the United States. This is the fourth edition uh, of the booklet and I'm so proud to see uh, that Sweden continues to have great impact on the US economy. Despite our modest population, Sweden is actually the 13th largest investor in the US. Swedish companies are present and have employees in all 50 states, as well as in Washington DC and Puerto Rico. These Swedish companies operate in a wide range of sectors, transportation, construction, telecommunication, life science, fashion, furniture, steel, and in many more. In total, Sweden creates more than 367,000 jobs in the United States. During these 30 minutes, I have the pleasure to show you the large impact Sweden has on the US market. Not only in terms of how many jobs we create or in how many places we are present, but also by the innovative products and services our companies are providing. I'll be letting some of these companies speak for themselves, uh, but first I would like to give the floor to the Swedish Minister of Foreign Trade, Ms. Anna Halberg. Thank you, Ambassador, and thank you, Select USA, for giving us this opportunity to participate in this great event. Sweden and the United States have a long-standing trade relation. The US is Sweden's largest market outside Europe, Swedish companies have been present and creating job opportunities in the US for centuries. One example is Ericsson, that opened its first sale office in 1902, and many, many companies have joined them since. Today, we are releasing a new updated booklet, Sweden Creates Jobs in the United States. The booklet shows that Swedish companies create about 370,000 jobs directly in the US today and indirectly that number is almost 1 million. For most Swedish international companies, US is their most important market. According to a new business climate survey carried out in uh, April, more than 60% of the Swedish companies in the US plan to increase their investments the coming year. This continuing interest in the US market is not only thanks to the size of the market and the close cultural links, but also because we, in many aspects, are a perfect match. Both Sweden and the United States have built its wealth on science and technology. We are regarded as two of the most innovative and creative countries in the world. Innovation will be one crucial factor when we make the shift to a greener and more sustainable future. Swedish companies have a long tradition of creating sustainable businesses, products and services and are world leading in many sectors. The production of carbon-free steel, green energy, high quality green batteries are examples where Swedish industry is leading the way. In addition, Swedish industry offers outstanding solutions for sustainable mining, sustainable manufacturing, automation, robotics, life science, and so much more. Through continued and increased investments, Swedish companies will continue to provide decent jobs in the US and deliver a green and inclusive transition in our two countries. This is indeed a win-win. Thank you so much. Thank you, Minister Halberg. When a company makes an investment, there are of course a number of factors to consider, such as the right location, the right talent, where the customers are, taxes, local regulations and logistics, and of course, the right partners. Volvo Group is one of the largest Swedish companies in the US, with facilities and production in many states. Volvo Group has recently expanded its investment in Virginia, and we will now hear about the partnership between Volvo Group and the Commonwealth of Virginia. Well, Virginia is proud to have over 500 international companies from 40 different countries that operate here in the Commonwealth. And it means so much to our business community, to our reputation globally as a leader for business, strong business climate. Sweden especially, we are so proud to have Volvo uh, have their largest corporate campus here, their largest manufacturing facility here in the New River Valley. As a Swedish company headquartered in Gothenburg, Sweden, the Volvo Group makes trucks, buses, 
construction equipment, and power solutions for marine and industrial applications. We also offer financing and services that increase our customers' uptime and productivity. Our mission is to drive prosperity through transport and infrastructure solutions. And we're dedicated to moving our industry and our planet to a more sustainable future. We're committed to 100% zero emission vehicle sales by 2040. And as a company, we intend to be carbon neutral by the year 2050. We have deep roots here in the United States. The Mack brand alone has been here for more than a century. We employ more than 13,000 people and operate 11 manufacturing facilities in seven states. Well, Volvo has been sort of a legacy manufacturer. They commit so much to the community in Pulaski, got over 3,000 employees there, and have existed as a major corporate client for over 40 years. Our new River Valley plant in Dublin, Virginia, opened in 1982 and is the largest Volvo trucks plant in the world. New River Valley employs more than 3,300 people and every Volvo truck sold in North America is made there. We're in the process of a $400 million upgrade that will expand our New River Valley footprint, add new machinery, and create more than 750 jobs. These investments will improve plant efficiency and deliver even higher product quality for our customers. Well, Virginia and the governor especially were so proud to work with Volvo as they cited their new investment here in Virginia, working with the existing operation in Pulaski County to expand. Um, they've decided to invest over $400 million and hire over 700 new employees. Those are local employees that get to stay in their home communities. And that's really um, one of the things that's so important to us about continuing to invest. Without the commitment made by Volvo in Virginia, we wouldn't be able to celebrate the launch of our newest model, the VNR Electric Zero Emission Truck, which began production this spring. Our most recent investment in Virginia supports Mack Trucks, which has been part of the Volvo Group since 2001. In January 2020, just months before the pandemic hit, I announced a $13 million investment to establish our Roanoke Valley manufacturing operations to build the new Mack medium duty truck series. The plant added 250 new jobs to Roanoke Valley, and despite many challenges due to the pandemic, we're running at full production today. Once again, we were proud to make this investment in Virginia and grateful to receive around $1.5 million in grants from the Commonwealth and Roanoke County. It's clear that Volvo is thinking about the future, and that's how we think about um, our investments in Virginia too. These are just a few examples of the many investments that the Volvo Group North America has made in the United States. With nearly a quarter of the Volvo Group's sales coming from North America, we expect there will be more investments to come. Thank you for your time today. Two years ago, the Swedish aerospace and defense company Saab, together with Boeing, signed a contract to produce more than 300 training aircrafts. The production facility for this project will be located in West Lafayette in Indiana. Hello and welcome to Inside Indiana Business. I'm Gary Dick. Sweden-based Saab, the global defense and security company, has chosen Purdue University's Discovery Park District as the home of a new aerospace production facility. The company to invest $37 million in the West Lafayette operation and create up to 300 jobs. The advanced manufacturing facility to make a significant portion of the TX pilot uh, training aircraft for the U.S. Air Force. Indiana Secretary of G uh, Commerce Jim Schellinger is here now with more on how the deal came together and how Saab's first U.S. manufacturing operation uh, could impact the state. Jim, as always, welcome. Thank you, Gary. Uh, let's talk about this was a high-profile project mm -hmm. uh, for a number of months. Uh, Saab expressed interest or looked around at a number of locations. Talk about how, how the deal came together and how many states were really yeah. in competition. It's so exciting because the governor and our board of directors at the IDC, uh, as a part of our Vision 2020, our global vision, set out to really continue to build this great ecosystem in aerospace and aviation that we have in defense. Uh, and this goes right into that sweet spot. So we were one of 10 states they looked at. Uh, we had four different interviews, um, one out in Washington, D.C. Um, they narrowed it down to three states and four sites, and Indiana had two of those sites, and the one selected, obviously, up at 
the uh, aerospace district at Purdue University. Not just going to be the fuselage down the road in their partnership with Boeing. It'll be other things in cyber technology and in um, things like autonomous technology, 5G, a lot of things. Their president said yesterday they're going to be here over 100 years. Wow. And, and this is a company that puts a lot of money into R&D. And, and uh, the point was made yesterday that this is a manufacturing operation, but there will be a lot of high-tech R&D on a variety of uh, areas in the coming years. Yeah, I think their uh, ultimate, the leadership, when they got deeply involved, they this is a very unique situation because you've got a great ecosystem up there for manufacturing, even GE Aviation, mm -hmm. Tate and Lyle and some others that are up there, but yet just that continuity with, a, with one of the great all-time research universities in the country, one of the great aerospace programs in the country, mm -hmm. um, and they see that as a plus mm -hmm. because 23% of their income they spend on R&D every year. Our uh, Mary Rachel Redman was at the announcement uh, at uh, Purdue. She talked with uh, President Mitch Daniels about, uh, about the investment. It validates, I think, our innovation district concept that great companies would like to come live on the border of a first-rate research university, that we can build a place that's really attractive for top talent to live, and this will help us attract faculty and students uh, in the future. I'm now joined here at House of Sweden by Michael Anderson. He is the head of strategic partnerships and international affairs at Saab. And Saab is a global aerospace and defense company with offices and production all over the world. So Michael, obviously this US Air Force program is a huge deal for Saab. Can you tell me a little bit about how it came about? Absolutely, uh, this is huge for Saab, obviously. This uh, program started around 2013 when we signed a joint development agreement with Boeing. And our intention was to develop a new aircraft to win the TX program for the U.S. Air Force. And uh, we developed a new aircraft in, five, in, in less than five years and, and flew the aircraft, proved the aircraft, and offered it to U.S. Air Force, and we won the program 2018. It's a nine, over $9 billion U.S. dollar program. And, um, and beyond the, the development effort, obviously, is the production phase. As we just saw, <coughs> we, we decided quite early that we wanted to produce the aircraft in, in the U.S. and we went into a process to find the best location and that's what we just saw in Indiana. Attracting the right talent and creating uh, you know, the right place for innovation is of course crucial uh, to an operation like this. And I understood that you have very close cooperation with Purdue University. Can you talk a little bit about that as well? Yes, and now this was such a nice part of, of the relationship with Indiana because it, it's really a classic triple helix program where we combine the relationship with government, academia, and industry. So part of this arrangement in Indiana, West Lafayette, uh, is also a relationship with Purdue University. So we have identified a number of research areas that we jointly will invest in, such in IA and cyber and, and so forth. So besides your job at Saab, you're also the chairman of the Swedish American Chamber of Commerce. Uh, and actually, Sweden is the 13th largest investor in the United States. By population in the world, we're size number 90, so mm -hmm. we are really big uh, here. Um, and many companies view the U.S. as its most important market. Uh, do you expect uh, growth in the coming years? Absolutely. I, I think we need to look at this as an evolution that maybe some 20, 30 years ago, we, we looked at the U.S. market as an export market. I think as we have seen over the last 15 years or so, Swedish companies realize that we need to be close to the customer. We need to understand what the customer wants. And hence, that's why you see so many investments in the U.S. in various states. Mm -hmm. and, and, and from where I sit and, and our members in the Chamber of Commerce, uh, I see a huge appetite for growth in the U.S. Swedish companies are active in a broad range of sectors, and many have operations and employees in several states. These companies are often characterized by their commitment to workers' rights, inclusive growth, and green transition. They have also worked with sustainability for a long time, integrating a green approach to their business models, with the argument that it's not only good for climate, it's also really good for business. We will now hear from a few Swedish companies. SED is a global hygiene and health company headquartered in Stockholm. We offer brands, products, and solutions aimed at improving well-being for people 
and that contribute to a more sustainable world. And while SED sells in 150 countries and has more than 40,000 employees worldwide, in the U.S., SED has about 3,000 employees. Our primary U.S. business office is in Philadelphia, a city known for its Swedish roots. But we also have offices in, and manufacturing sites in Alabama, Kentucky, New York, North Carolina, Ohio, Texas, Wisconsin, and in Washington State. Today, our U.S. sales are about 1.5 billion. And as we all come through this pandemic, SED is well positioned to grow our operations in the United States. SED has a well-recognized track record when it comes to sustainability. We are included in the Dow Jones Sustainability Index. We employ sustainable manufacturing processes at our sites. In fact, our torque products in the U.S. are mostly made from 100% recycled content. Some of the most innovative work we are doing is bringing digital technology via sensors to our categories. We are making significant investments in driving digital transformation to scale our impact and value for customers and consumers, as well as for the environment. Cellink is the leading bioconvergence company today, focusing on the life science industry uh, by providing products, technologies, and services for our customers, which are researchers and scientists, to create, understand, and master biology. Cellink provides great products all over the world with the focus on really enabling research and science to take the next steps in terms of providing the future healthcare. The products that we provide could be, for instance, liquid handling robots or very high precision automation systems that can help produce diagnostics products, medical devices, and even printing human tissues and organs. I consider selling to be a U.S. Swedish company, and the reason for that is because the American market is our most important market today. It composes more than 50% of our revenue. We consider ourselves being American providers because that's essentially where the majority of innovative research is taking place. Out of the 700 great colleagues around the world, 165 of these are present in the U.S. And we're proud to have offices in locations such as Boston, Blacksburg, Ashland, San Diego, Phoenix, and many other great places. We truly look forward to expand our presence in these areas and find more and great colleagues. Selink works with sustainability in a few different ways. Mainly, it's a new program that we established just about a year ago that focuses on, of course, the environmental aspects and work with an ESG agenda to ensure that we can establish a sustainable future for the healthcare industry. Hello, my name is Richard Kennedy, Skanska USA's President and CEO. Skanska USA is one of the largest, most financially sound construction and development companies in the country with expertise in construction, civil infrastructure, and commercial development. Headquartered in New York with projects across the United States, our leaders are committed to safety, project execution, sustainability, ethics, and people development. Everything we do at Skanska comes back to our purpose. We build for a better society. Our employees make a tangible, positive impact on the world. And while the world might know us mostly for what we build, at Skanska, we care just as much about the values that govern how we build. Skanska delivers hospitals, schools, offices, residential buildings, entertainment venues, bridges, tunnels, transportation systems, all essentials in building a vibrant community. Last year, despite the challenges of the pandemic, we opened two critical infrastructure projects in New York, LaGuardia Central Terminal and the new Moynihan Train Hall. The construction industry serves as a catalyst for economic recovery and growth. Skanska has always focused on sustainable market sectors that build for a better society. It was no different pre-pandemic, during the pandemic, and will continue to be focus areas coming out of the pandemic. The global road freight transport market is more than 4.2 trillion and is expected to grow more than another 30% by 2027. But at the same time, road freight accounts for more than 7% of the global CO2 emissions. It is clear that while the market for transport is growing fast, we need to take major changes to transform it to be sustainable. This is opportunity that intersects with a growing labor shortage. At Enride, our vision is to pioneer a solution to these critical issues. One that is cost efficient, 
intelligent, and most importantly, sustainable. Our freight mobility software makes the planning and implementation of the latest technology possible. The US has always been a top priority for us at Enride. That is why we are pleased to recently announce that we raised 110 million in new funding. This will allow us to create at least 200 new jobs immediately through direct employments and countless more manufacturing and other transport industry jobs. For the Swedish Embassy in Washington DC, trade promotion is an essential task. This includes helping Swedish companies on the US market and attracting investments from the US to Sweden. We don't do this alone. We do it in close collaboration with our trade promotion colleagues in Team Sweden USA throughout the country. The Consulate General was founded already 1843 and focuses primarily on consular affairs and promoting Sweden within trade, investments and, and cultural affairs. We cover nine states in the northeastern US and in this district alone, Sweden creates 67,000 jobs. In close collaboration with other actors in Team Sweden, we facilitate the exchange between uh, Swedish and US representatives on city and state level, with the aim to create concrete business and investment opportunities. At Business Sweden, the Swedish Trade and Invest Council, we help Swedish companies expand their international business and support American companies to invest and expand into Sweden. US is by far the largest market for Swedish companies, often contributing with more than 20% of their global sales. The foundation of this is a strong local presence of our companies here, where Swedish companies employ more than 360,000 professionals directly and up, add up to almost 1 million jobs, including subcontractors and services. This makes us the 13th largest overall investor into the US. Generally speaking, Chambers of Commerce play a special and vital role on the US market. It's here networks and contacts are built and that interaction creates business. SAC USA has more than 1500 members, 19 regional chambers all over the US doing more than 300 business events a year. Our chambers Board members and employees are Swedish and American business people ready to walk the extra mile to support your company. We get all the tools to support you, both on the regional and national level. SAC USA is also a proud member of Team Sweden, working closely together with the Embassy of Sweden, the Swedish consulates, as well as organizations such as the Swedish Institute, Startup Swedish and Business Sweden. We are also working close together with Swedish University on talent mobility, not only placing more than 100 Swedish students a year to Swedish companies in the US, but also placing young and bright American students to companies and universities in Sweden. Sweden's position as an innovative leader uh, indeed provides uh, great opportunities for transatlantic cooperation and especially in areas such as smart and sustainable cities and life sciences. Myself and my team in New York stand ready to engage uh, to strengthening even further the collaboration between Sweden and the US and to create jobs. Swedish companies are headquartered in all parts of the US and at Business Sweden we support them from our three offices in New York, Chicago, and the Silicon Valley. We are pleased to represent companies and work with them from all different industries, from energy, manufacturing, transport, to more consumer-driven business, as well as life science. But the common denominator is a strong focus on green transition, innovation, and technology. We're also very pleased to see a continued interest from American investors into Sweden not only the well-known Facebook, Microsoft and Amazons, but also new generation of technology companies. This intensified two-way trade and investment partnership continues to offer great opportunities for American Swedish co-innovation and collaboration in new technology areas, not least to support the trans transition to a sustainable and green future. So if your company needs to grow your business 
on the US market or if you are an American company that wants to invest in Sweden, please contact us and join our dynamic network. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking your time uh, to listen in on our event, Sweden Creates Jobs in the United States. We will continue to make a difference on this market and work together with all of you. Sweden will continue to select USA.